Now let's get you to the latest on the race for the White House. U.S. President Joe Biden secured an overwhelming victory in South Carolina's Democratic primary. South Carolina is the state where Biden reversed his fortunes in 2020 with a resounding win during the Democratic primary. Biden also took his reelection pitch to Nevada voters where he said that a Donald Trump presidency would be a nightmare for America. Our next report gets you all the latest updates. The tense political rematch between U.S. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump is now another step closer. Biden secured an easy victory in South Carolina's Democratic primary. With this, the Democratic Party has officially kicked off its nominating process. I'm feeling good about where we are. I really am. You know, uh, the folks uh, are starting to focus in. And the guy we're running against, uh, he is uh, hes not for anything. He's against everything. Uh, no, I mean, it. it's, a, it's the weirdest campaign I've ever been engaged in. It's even worse than in terms of his behavior than the last time in 2020. According to projections, Joe Biden won 96.4% votes cast. The 81-year-old is overwhelmingly favored against Minnesota Representative Dean Phillips and self-help author Marianne Williamson. I think you all get it along with me. We can't, this is not just a campaign. This is more of a mission. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot lose this campaign for the good of the country. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's not about me. It goes well beyond me. It goes about the country. And I think everybody knows it, and I think people are beginning to dawn on people. Biden said South Carolina breathed life into his 2020 campaign, and he added that the people of South Carolina will set him on the path of winning the presidency again and making Trump lose again. The GOP South Carolina primary is on February 24th. The South Carolina primary was closely watched amid concerns about Biden's popularity, especially among black voters. Four years ago, it was the black vote in the state's primary that helped ignite Biden's campaign and propel him to the White House. South Carolina has not backed a Democrat for president in the general election since 1976. Biden also took his re-election pitch to Nevada voters, saying that a Donald Trump presidency would be a nightmare for the country. Donald Trump knows the economy we build is strong and getting stronger. He knows that while it's good for America, it's bad for him politically. Trump also said the one president he doesn't want to be like was Herbert Hoover. Donald, I got bad news for you, pal. It's too late. <laughs> You're one of only two presidents in American history, you and Herbert Hoover, who left office with fewer jobs than when you took office. <laughs> Herbert Hoover, yes. Donald Herbert Hoover Trump. And by the way, I make no apologize, no apologies for being the most pro-union president in American history. I say one more thing. I also said that I asked the Treasury Department to do a study with wa raising the wages of union members, which I've been able, I fought like hell to have happen, and it's happening. And the unions are more popular now than they've been in generations. I said, what was, what's the effect of that? It raises everybody's wages. Everything raises. Nevada is a battleground state. It has largely voted for the White House winner in recent decades. In 2020, Biden won Nevada by fewer than three percentage points over Trump. About 30 percent of Nevada's population is self-described Latino or Hispanic on the census. And the Republicans are making some inroads with these voters nationwide. Republicans hold a primary on February 6th in Nevada, but Trump won't be on the ballot as he has opted to participate in a February 8th caucus in the state instead. The 2024 U.S. presidential election promises to be tight. Polls show Biden largely even or even slightly trailing Trump. Joe Biden has also been suffering from the lowest approval ratings of any president in decades. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. 
The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Pulse America. <laughs>